The California Energy Commission today released its latest proposal for mandating more energy-efficient computers and monitors. The proposed standards require that desktop computers reduce power draw by half when idle. And they establish more modest power reductions for notebooks and laptops, which already are more efficient when they're operating on battery mode, but that's not always the case when they're plugged in. The Energy Commission says the initiatives would save California more than $400 million annually, and if adopted nationwide, save $2.2 billion. The uh, Energy Commission will issue a final proposal and hopes to adopt the standards by the end of 2016. Uh, I, as you know, thinking, I've done a couple documentaries on green technology and what leads to efficiencies and innovation, and it always seems to come back to policy, Tom. These big overarching standards that are laid down by the government, um, and they seem to have an impact, and California has a, a, a wide reach. Yeah, and in, and in fact, uh, Europe's standards are are quoted in the study here saying Europe has new exit more exacting standards that will happen, and that will cause manufacturers to have to make more energy efficient computers, but we don't think it goes far enough in California. So they're uh, proposing these stricter standards. These were released back on March 12th, actually, and there's a workshop scheduled for April 15th. So anybody who thinks they have an opinion about this and lives in California should probably file their public comments. Uh, the, the California Energy Commission did talk to stakeholders, they did talk to manufacturers, they did talk to tech companies. I think what worries me about this, and this is always the problem with these kinds of regulations, are the loopholes and the unintended consequences. So for instance, in this proposal, it says that workstations only have to replace the power supply. The 80 plus power supply is required for workstations, which will save some energy for sure. But I know that immediately a large number of enterprises are going to claim that their PCs and desktops are in fact workstations. It says in the proposal, and I'm sure there's a, a stricter definition in the actual rules, but it says in the proposal that workstations are, are uh, task-specific things like film editing stations. It's like, well, a film editing station is just a desktop computer these days. So, <laughs> uh, so I feel like there's a big loophole there. Uh, I do think that it's it's great to give manufacturers some incentive, especially if you've brought them in. Um, I like better than putting these rules down, funding better research to make this happen. So the state is actually, as part of this program, giving $2 million to Agios to develop software-defined power management. They're also giving money to the University of California, Irvine, to help reduce energy use in computers. And, and that, I think, has got a better chance of improving things. Uh, and maybe you need the rules, too. Maybe you need a little carrot and stick. But if you can have better technology out there for companies to use, then you're more likely to be able to say, oh, well, I'm going to get that computer because it's going to use less power, and, and that's important to me. And then the rules kind of keep the bad actors from abusing the system. You would think that incentive was already in play in that big corporate enterprises spending so much of their budget on energy costs and that they would do that already. And that's where you sort of, you hope that the free markets can do as much as they can to take the low hanging fruit. But then at a certain point, you got to squeeze down from the top on the, on the restrictions and the policies. And for those of you who are wondering why these California laws matter so much, it's that California in the past, when it comes to our air resources board um, and other um, state agencies have mandated certain efficiency standards with uh, emission standards. They they brought in the smog check way back when. They were the first to limit lead in gasoline. And because California has such a huge reach in the country that any company that wants to do business in California, it's actually more economical to uh, sort of put those standards across their whole business so that they comply with California. And that's really how we got a lot of the fuel efficiency standards across the country and the emission standards down. So um, I, I know that you're a little more freewheeling and I'm a little bit more wonkish, but I think we can, I, you know, you can put yeah, your, I'm, I'm your not peanut against... butter on my chocolate and we're going to be okay here. Definitely. That sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not against policies. I just think that policies often are touted as fixes when they're experiments. 
Uh, a lot of times we don't really know what effect they're going to have and we don't see all the effects they're going to have. And and so that's why I'm looking at this. I'm like, well, every business out there is going to call all their desktops a workstation, replace the power supply and be done with it. So I'm not sure that this will have the effect that it's intended to have. At the same time, you can't just leave it entirely to the free market. Uh, for instance, the Energy Star version 7 standards for monitors are out there, but people aren't making monitors at Energy star version 7 standard. So what the California Energy Commission is doing here is saying, we will make our regulations be Energy Star version 7. So it's basically for monitors, it's saying, we'll just make that voluntary standard the law in California.